When I begin to draw the face, I first start out by making a vertical line down the center of the page. For this example, our line is going to be the length of 6 inches. So mark off 6 inches somewhere in the center of the page. Then you want to establish where the middle mark is. So that would be 3 inches down. Make a mark across vertically. And you want to break up each portion of the halves into thirds. So that means they would be 1 inch each. Mark those off also, both on the top and the bottom half. All these measurements are going to serve as reference points to different parts of the face. For the width of the face, it'll be two thirds of length. So that would be four inches across. It means from the middle mark, it's two inches on each side, which is four inches. You want to always double check your measurements. And then you'll create a box around the points that you made. Your face will be drawn inside that box. Using this ruler that you see is a T square ruler, make, it makes sure that everything is angled properly. Everything is squared off. Once you have your rectangular box made, then you could start drawing in the head, which is an oval. Nice and smooth corners. Try to get each side the same. If you don't, just you're drawing very lightly, so if it doesn't come out exactly the same on both sides, just erase it until you get it as close as you can to having it symmetrical on both sides. The top part of the oval has a much deeper curve. For the lower part, for the chin, I'd like to make a sharper curve. Again, you're drawing very lightly. Have an eraser handy because you will be erasing a lot. These are basic proportions. Everybody's face is different, but this will get you started. Once you make all your corrections, then you're going to make a couple more lines for reference. So you, now you're going to divide each half of the width into four even parts. Since our halves are two inches that means we would have to divide it into half inches and we'll have four even parts on both halves of the face horizontally make these marks nice and light because you will be erasing them at the end using your t-square square off the middle of the box and then also make some lines on the thirds that are vertical And then you're going to make some vertical lines on the first quarter on the right side and then the left side of the face. And those are really all the lines that you need 
in order to start drawing the face. So now I like to start drawing the eye. And the eye is two fourths of half of the face. Some people like to draw it directly on that line. I like to go a little above that line. And the nose, I start drawing the outer part of the nostril first, and then the inner part. Just making very light lines. This way if I don't like something, I could always erase it, and it won't show up. If you make really dark lines, it's harder to erase and they'll always be there. That bottom line is really the middle of the lower lip. So now I'm drawing the opening of the mouth, which dips into the middle, it goes up and then it goes back down and swoops a little bit higher in the ends. The top part of the lip goes up and then back down sort of like two mountains and the bottom part of the lower lip kind of make a straight line and then slightly curve it back up to meet the opening of the mouth the eyebrows always appear to me to be a lot higher than I imagined them to be but this has always worked. You can make them thicker or thinner depending on their, your style. I like to establish a shadow on one part of the nose and this establishes where the light is coming from later on. I'll be shading the face and I have to know where the light is coming from. The ear goes from the bottom of the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose and then you can draw the pupils and also the line above the eye and all you have to do is the other side before you start adding the details <laughs> 